Hi, I'm Max Spainauer. And I'm Troy McCormick. Welcome to Indiana Outdoor Adventures. Indiana Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by High Tech Firearms and Training, Hawbury Forestry Consulting, Managing Your Timber and Wildlife Resources, Derby City Game Calls, It's Your Call, Indiana State Parks and Reservoirs. Segments on Indiana State Parks and Reservoirs are produced in partnership with Indiana DNR's Division of State Parks and Reservoirs. Lawrence County Tourism Commission. Discover an unexpected destination. Hillbilly Custom Game Calls. And Fire Knock, the most advanced lighted knock. Welcome, we've got an exciting adventure for you today. We're in Harrison County. We've got a beautiful eight acre lake. Uh, we're going out bass fishing. Maybe we'll get into some crappie, some bluegill. Uh, our guide and host today is Jonathan Jordan. And Jonathan's gonna take us out on the lake. Uh, we're gonna get into some uh, Mid-October fishing. Uh, normally we're in a tree stand this yeah, time of the year. Right. Uh, we'll see what we get into. It's a, a bright blue sky. We had a front come through yesterday. Mac, what do you think we're going to be uh, able to catch today? We, uh, well, Jonathan, our guide, has said that, uh, you know, this lake's full of bass, bluegill, and crappie. So uh, we're hoping to tie into some of the bass. He's caught some nice bass here right. before in the past. And uh, like Troy said, we're not used to this fishing in October. We're kind of... Uh, Camoed up and hanging on the side of a tree, but with our guide, I think we're going to uh, catch some nice bass. I think so too. If nothing else, it's a great way to spend uh, uh, a mid October day, and I'm really looking forward to getting out on the water. Oh, uh, Troy, we're seeing the, the clear blue skies, yeah. the uh, fall colors, right? Uh, brisk in the morning. We had our jackets on, now we've peeled them off. Uh, you can't spend a better day, whether we catch a fish or not. Let's get out on the uh, lake and check in uh, with the fish and uh, see if we can entice some of them into the boat. Let's get it. All right. Small one, the good hey, color. Small bass. Small bass, nice color to them though. Oh yeah. That's the way to get us started. That's a good start. So, Jonathan's already got one in the boat and Mac does not. Story of my life. So that means right now I have the first fish, the biggest fish, and the most fish. <laughs> that's right. You're taking that's all, a grand all, slam. All, all awards. He's a small one. All right good start. So you were just trolling? Yeah, we, a lot of times that's how we've caught them here, trolling. You were, we were just blowing with the wind and you? Yeah, well, I was actually uh, going against current taking us up back at that end and uh, over there in the shade, he hit it. What have you got on right now, John? It's Countdown Minnow. It's about an inch and a half, about an inch and a half long Countdown Minnow and it catches just about everything. Good all around, all purpose kind all, of a lure out all here. All purpose, all around. It, it crappie, bluegill, red ear, bass, they all like it. And uh, especially on a good day fishing because you can use it and you don't know what you're going to end up hooking. You can hook any of the above. Give it a try again. Yeah, we're out here on a lake that uh, we've got a code front that's moved in that for what 90 days we went without rain and then all of a sudden we get a little rain in the cold front there we go it was 95 degrees in that go. way there we go there you go that he's skunking me oh my goodness that's a bluegill eating that all round lure <laughs> nice one Oh, well, this is a whopper. 
Bluegill. <laughs> there you go, good one. Look at this now. That's uh, that says something when you start bringing in bluegill on these things. Now I'm not skunk, Troy. Not skunk no more. Yeah, I got it. Look at the iridescent colors that you have on this bluegill. And if you're looking, you'll see a black spot here on the dorsal fin. That's how you know it's a bluegill. There's always a dorsal. There's always a black spot on your dorsal fin on these. Red ear would have the red patch on the ear here. This right here is nice. The water temperatures uh, got getting a lot cooler, um, and I like it when it's darker or uh, cooler water because the colors come out. Boom. No. I'm going to try to get a bad way again. People are going to say, John catches bass, Matt catches bluegill. But you're catching something. That's right. Troy. He ah. came with me. Oh, he got off. Oh. oh. Ah. Oh. I, didn't, I didn't keep the tension on. Okay. Hey. I'm going to go right down there. <laughs> Trolling, man. Max going for it. Now. That's right. We was trolling and okay. he hit. John John locates him. Matt goes after him. <laughs> <laughs> Got to help him out anyway. Yeah, no. That's <laughs> right. I take all the help. You probably want me to. I don't think he's oh. as big as the first one. No, I don't think he's a big. He's got a nice, good green back. Maybe that cool front's helped out getting some of these fish to hit a little bit. Yeah. yeah, he's hooked good. Where's my pliers at? Up by you somewhere. And you're working a backlash? Is that what you're doing? I had a tangle on my spinning reel, which was unusual. There we go. There we go. Nice one. Real pretty. Nice Sun fish. shining on. It's beautiful, isn't it? Hang him, hold him right there. That looks great. Okay, good. Okay, let's see if we can make this one jump like I usually do without him slapping me too fast. Ah, he's he's already he's going. He's a lively one. Come on. That's how I like to let him go. <laughs> I love it. I love. That's how I always let him go. I've never seen that. That's that's okay. I uh, keyed that one. Then that's my that's my trademark. <laughs> so that's your trademark now. But whatever. What is it? Coin that phrase or whatever. So what, what, what do you call it? Is that a jump release? That's a jump release. You lay them in there and let them think they're still on something, then all of a sudden they realize freedom has come again. So, Troy takes my pole and catches a fish with it. John, what do you think of that? <laughs> well, somebody had to catch one, you know? <laughs> I was kind of mean with it. <laughs> oh, no, it's all right. Oh, come here. That's a nice one. Cold weather. What do you think about that? Sweet. Yeah, I like them. That's a good way to get started now. Yes. Well, let, let's try the jump release method that uh, John's taught us here. Let's see if I can uh, recreate this. We just kind of ease them here into the water. About like that, John? Yeah. Yep. Wait until he quits kicking. Oh, he oh, went he down. Sunk. He was sunk. He just sunk. So, that was your first fish, and what time is it, Troy? You know what, it is, uh, it's quarter to 12. We're at the, out on a lake, it's uh, the middle of October. Uh, we weren't gonna be deer hunting today, we might as well be out fishing, so this is a great way to spend a day. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of fishing opportunities in Indiana, from, from big rivers to small rivers, to creeks and streams and large lakes. We're on about an eight acre lake today and there's nothing like farm ponds and small lakes to uh, really go out, have a good time, catch some fish on. And uh, we're, uh, I think we're ready to catch a few more. So let me get some more casting in and we'll see what we can do. Hillbilly Custom Game Calls, offering the finest and precision made diaphragm mouth calls for wild turkey hunting. Each call is handmade and gauge stretched for exact tension each and every time. Select from double and triple read calls like you've never heard before. 
We also have an assortment of handmade wood box calls, glass and slate top pot calls, and predator calls that will make us your source for all of your custom game call needs. Look for us online at www.hillbillygamecalls.com. If you own timber land or open land, Hawbury Forestry Consulting specializes in timber sales, timber management, and wildlife habitat management for private landowners. We are also experienced with timber stand improvement, contract tree planting, and reforestation work. Our specialty is wildlife habitat management. If you own land and want to see an increase in deer, turkey, quail, and grouse populations on your property, we can tailor a management plan specifically for your needs. Follow Indiana Outdoor Adventures online with Facebook, Twitter, and our website. Stay up to date with our exciting adventures as we're out in the field filming and meeting new people. From news updates and announcements to Twitter posts by co-host Troy McCormick. Why wait until the next season of shows when you can follow us as we're filming them? Join us online to get the most current news on Indiana Outdoor Adventures. I'd like to introduce our guide today, Jonathan Jordan, uh, here in Harrison County. We met uh, about a month ago at an event, and um, he threw out an idea. He wanted to take two guys that don't get the bass fish a whole lot uh, out and show us one of your prime spots. Uh, we're not going to we're not going to tell you where, because it is a secret, and it's a secret that Jonathan has been able to fish for many many years. So I'm gonna let you tell let Jonathan tell you a little bit about this this area. Well, this place we got here, it's a really nice piece of property. Uh, the person that uh, lets me come here and fish, he's become a good friend of mine. Um, I've known him for probably almost 30 years now, and just when I was a young fella, just a uh, teenager looking for a place to go fishing, I crossed paths with this fella, and he started letting me go fishing to one of his other ponds, and uh, you just uh, you find you a good place to fish, you respect what the property owner asks out of you, you don't do the things you're not supposed to, and just kind of do, you know, uh, keep your stuff picked up, leave with you, and don't leave trash, and over the period of years we've become pretty good friends. Tell us what your biggest fish is that you've caught out of these, these, this body of water or the others that have joined this. Uh, my biggest bass, back when I caught that bass, I was pretty young then, pretty young then, and um, the state record at that time was 11 pounds, 11 ounces, 25 3 quarter inches long, and my bass went 25 1 quarter inches long, but I never officially had it weighed. But I've caught some other real nice ones besides that, and again, it just comes down to catch, release, put them back, let someone else have them another time, and and uh, you'll have some good fishing every time you come 20, here. 25 and a quarter inch, was it in the spring or fall, or can you remember? Uh, it was probably late spring, early summer. Probably in the spring, late spring, mid spring, somewhere along in there. So probably full of eggs, probably, if it was possibly. a female. Yeah, possibly. Uh, drove that weight up. We don't know. Could we could be, be standing talking to a guy that, w that was potentially breaking the re Indiana record at the time, uh, or if nothing else, second. Uh, that record stood for many, many years and then yeah. was broken by, uh, coincidentally, a, a lake here in Harrison County. Yes. yes. So the state Seven record Springs. is from from uh, Silver or from uh, Seven Springs. Seven Springs Lake in southern Harrison County. Yeah. So. Must be something about the jeans here. Harrison County, good fishing spot. <laughs> good fishing. Remember that. <laughs>